Hi, welcome to Ambrosia. My name is Bhavya Desai and today is all about the Glenwalk Blended Scotch Whiskey. Now before we start this review, if many of you have been wondering why is it that we've been missing and not making too many videos, the video is getting ready so that's why it's been difficult to do that. I know a lot of messages have been pouring in, you can understand in this sort of a scenario it becomes a little difficult to review whiskies. Today is all about the Glenwalk Whiskey and why is this famous? This is famous because it actually comes from the famous actor Sanjay Rath. Yes, you heard it right. He is one of the investors in this company along with four other partners who actually have come together to form a company called Cartel and Brothers. Now, they all have really good experience in this industry and they seem to have all the bases covered. And in this video, we're going to review this whiskey because this is actually a world exclusive first and tell you how it is. Now, what's also special about this scotch is that it's not only coming from Sanjay Rath, but also it is extremely competitively priced. It only comes for Rs. 1550 in Maharashtra, but that's of course for a 700ml bottle and not a 750ml bottle and it comes with an ABP value of 40%. Now, this really positions itself in a category where you have some of the best Indian premium whiskies. You know, whiskies like Blenders, whiskies like Oaksmith, Signature, Antiquity Blue. And some of these are millionaire brands and are also the perfect choice for the consumer in that category. Now, that's why this makes it very interesting because it really gives the consumer that opportunity to taste a scotch which is at that price point. Now, the makers also highlight that while this is a scotch, it has been tailored to Indian taste buds, which means there might have been a lot of thought which might have gone behind making this blend. Now, this scotch is made in the Highlands in Scotland and also it uses a three-year-old malt, which is obviously mixed with the grain spirits to create this blend. Now, also this is made using traditional methods, which means that there is malted barley, which is actually soaked in water and it's allowed to germinate until the sugars are released. It is then fermented further in order to create that blend. Now, what's also interesting is that you need to know is that this is made by this company called Accio Limited, which also has a lot of malls and coaches to their name. And Cartel and Brothers, of course, are also pushing this as a mixer as well. If you look at their website, you'll see a host of recipes which actually use this as a cocktail mixer, which has become a really popular category. For instance, if you see Johnny Walker Blonde as well, which is a, the newer blended scotch, more affordable, that's also being pushed as a mixer and it is really doing extremely well in the market as well. Now, before we start the nosing and the tasting, let's just first look at the packaging. Let's look at the outer packaging first. Of course, it comes in a mono carton, which is pretty reminiscent of obviously the red scotches or the whiskies, which really come from Scotland. They've gone with a black color and also there's a big picture of the Highlands over here. As I said, that that's where the whiskey is actually made. Um, in terms of the information as well, on the side, they, ha they have given the idea and the inspiration of what the whiskey is about. Uh, obviously, it also beams that is a product from Scotland. Uh, I, I think that the color is still okay, but I don't really like the way the, uh, the name has been displayed. It's more in a vertical format, uh, which makes it slightly difficult to view it or read from far away. Now, I don't know if that's a specific strategy that they've gone with to have this name in such a way because that's something which usually brands do to stand out. Like for example, if you notice or if you've seen the black labels as well, when they were introduced in the market, they uh, they purposely slanted the labeling at a 24 degree uh, slant in order to stand out against the competition. I think it could have been a little bit better in terms of the communication. The quality is pretty good. I really like the, uh, the bottle and the packaging from the inside. It's very clean, very relaxed. Uh, in terms of the shape as well, when I look at this bottle, the first thing that really comes to mind is very similar to a lot of the glens in the market. Let me know in the comments of what you think. It's so let's just open the packaging and let's just see how it feels. So no cork, obviously, as you can expect in a price category, in a segment like this, it's very difficult to find a product which will obviously get corked. It surely seems potent for a 40% ABP value. It seems a lot stronger with the smell. 
and in terms of color as well if you can see there is a deep dark brown sort of a color uh, let's just give it a nice swirl and let's just see I won't be surprised if it's a little fruity and a little spicy because a lot of the whiskies which actually or rather a lot of the scotches which really come from Scotland or especially in the Highlands are usually of that character. Yeah, definitely feeling a little bit of that free, uh, fruity sweetness uh, for sure. Uh, uh, sweetness for sure, little bit of spiciness, uh, not a lot, not something which is coming across a lot. Let's just move to the tasting. Definitely a lot of fruitiness, surely there is a nice hint of sweetness. It's a little caramelly. Uh, for sure there's a little bit of caramelly. Also in terms of the texture as well, it's a little buttery on the palate. I'm kind of still feeling a little buttery on the palate. Even in terms of spiciness as well, the spiciness does not really hit you when you're nosing it, but when you're sipping it, you actually get a nice mouthful. You get that little bit of spiciness, which is surely coming across. A pretty long finish. The finish is still there. Uh, no burn. Uh, but yes, as I said earlier as well, from a 40% ABP value, it surely feels a little bit more potent. I can still feel the uh, feel the aroma. Uh, the, still, the blend is kind of lingering, lingering around in my throat, in a little bit of my palate. Uh, let's just see if we get a little bit of something else. Hint of smokiness, very little hint of smokiness. So what do I finally think about the Glen Vaughan Blended Scotch Whiskey? Honestly, it is extremely interesting. 1550 for a blended Scotch Whiskey coming in Maharashtra at this price point makes it very, very lucrative for the consumer. So if you're a drinker of someone like Blenders or Oaksmiths or Signatures or Antiquity Blues, then this can actually be a very interesting buy for you because for a similar price point, you actually get that premium feel. You get that blended Scotch Whiskey. And what's interesting also is that when it's a product is priced so competitively, you might think that it might not give you the best experience. But honestly speaking, it actually gives you a very decent experience. It's not a premium scotch experience for sure, obviously because of its price point. But at the same time, it also gives you enough there. So that's the reason why I think it might be a good, good whiskey. Especially when it launches in other markets or if it launches in other markets. Because 1550 in Maharashtra is a very good price. And it also opens the doors of being a lot cheaper when it goes to the other states. So if you're able to get your hands on this, then surely try this whiskey. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to engage with you about this and just like usual do like share and subscribe to our channel make sure that you uh, follow us on instagram as well put the bell notifications on as well and very important is until next time drink responsibly